When the, the possible 25% tariff was announced from China, the soybeans and the uh, prices in the United States dropped about 4%. The possibilities of, uh, of a possible tariff and what it would do and what would change and what would not change. China represents 60% of basically our soybean exports and there's no way you can cobble together all the other markets in the world to replace that. trade war or tariffs have never really worked very well and they've always at the farmer has always suffered accordingly. I am hopeful that the president is listening and is uh, listening to his advisors and taking into account what it really means for the for the entire Midwest and that uh, the strategy is uh, done very carefully so that in the end um, we are not affected in a, in a negative way. So I think what's important is that we uh, bring our commodity groups to the table, that we sit there and we have the opportunity to, to share with the president what we really need, what the impacts are, but, but allow our voice to be heard uh, with the president and to, to ensure that we end up with fair trade. Possible trade wars are not good for no. our countries, you know, and it's not just our countries because we're the, probably two of the largest trading countries in the world, it's a, but we, what we do affects all the people of the world. So we have a lot of responsibility in that. So it would behoove our governments to, to get together and come up with maybe a little bit better trade rules between the, our two countries, which I think this probably is, is a bunch of negotiating. I feel it's like a marriage. We've been married to China for a while and now we're having a little spat. <laughs> it's time to kiss and make up. Yeah.